Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Electric Video Gamer, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Code Lyoko Quest for Infinity. Last time we explored a little bit of Lyoko, and what? Well, we explored Catic Academy. I'm sorry, but we did explore Lyoko too, at least the desert region. As odd, met our heroes. Just overall, did fun things that did fun stuff. And this time, we're just going to go straight into Lyoko, because we already checked everyone here last time, you know. But before we get started, as always, if you enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like, it helps out. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more, and don't forget to answer the question for this video, which is... Have you ever seen Code Lyoko, and what's your opinion on it? I'd love to hear what you guys have to say in the comments section. But... Let's go ahead and get right into it. There you are, finally. Hi, Jeremy. So what was it you had to tell us that was so important? I hope it's good news. I put the finishing touches on Lyoko. There was still some Franz Hopper info to decode, and I had to develop a code cracking module for the binary and dynamic data. And are you finished or not? Yeah, a couple of days ago. Cool. So, what have you been working on lately? Eileta and I have figured out a way to track William. Spit it out, Einstein. What is it? We have to cross the digital sea. Are you crazy? Do that and we'll be divirtualized forever. Don't panic. Eileta and I have been working all week. We fixed up a ship that will take us across the digital sea unharmed. Oh, right. A ship. Show me. Show me. Uh, I mean, it's not quite ready just yet. Okay, let me guess. You need us to get some data back from Lyoko, is that it? Yeah, that's it. I've been checking, and we're missing some of the dipolar data blocks. Well, what are we waiting for? Okay, I'll start the procedure. Uh, just to be clear, that desync, not me. <laughs> that was the game. As expected from these, uh, licensed games, you can expect some minor lack of quality but just to help you guys get your minds around that the digital sea is basically all this area that's outside the world of lyoko fall into it get divirtualized forever and you know the old stay saying you die in the game you die in real life yeah pretty much the risk involved franz hopper is a scientist that created lyoko so they've been looking through his diaries because obviously he made Lyoka. Unfortunately, that also means he made Xana, so what can you do? But we essentially needed his information in order to figure out how to rebuild Lyoka. And so Jeremy and Ailita figured the best way to do it was cross the sea. And they made a ship to do that so they could avoid desertion. Hopefully I explain that in a way that you understand. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and scan in. Okay. Yes, I believe we're heading to Sector 5 next. We've already been to the Desert Sector. Let's check for upgrades real quick. 10 points for odd. Not nearly enough to get really anything. Wow. Yeah, I can definitely see this is going to be a grindy type game. But yeah, these are all our Lyoko warriors here. Odd, Ulrich, Alita, Yumi. We'll see what they can do as we play through the game. So let's just go right on in. New mission objective. Finish the ship so you can cross the digital sea and search for William. There's a skid area right here. But yeah, we'll go ahead and scan in. Scanner on. Scanner Ulrich. Scanner Yumi. For the record, she never looks that happy going in. She does, though. Scanner, Ailita. Virtualization. All right. 
right, so we got Let's the whole crew this time. We have to recover the data that we need to finish the ship. By the way, I wasn't able to recode your powers and skills. The data was lost when Lyoko was destroyed. Oh, How convenient. No. Don't panic. You should be able to pick up the data packs, which will let me reprogram you. Press up to select Ulrich, uh, left for Alita, down for Yumi, and right. All right, so it's a. I when when there's games like these, I usually compare them to Fantastic Four. Don't know why, it's just kind of my thing. All right, how do I do a thing again? That's guard. I guess I can't attack these, huh? Well, that's all right. But let's see. Let's try it out. So here's Alita. Oh, she can attack, so that's good. Get some data points here. That's right, she does have energy balls. I forgot about that. I think it was at this point that, that she actually got energy beams as a means of attacking. She never had them before. And then Odd and Yumi. I think she's still got her fans. Yep. Oh, and you can strafe. Sweet. I'm gonna go with Ulrich this time, just cause. What now? Make rapid movements with the Wii Remote, as if you're swinging a sword in front of you and press B while you swing. Try to make combos of two or three hits by chaining different movements. Ulrich, this crew has a special armor. According to my analysis, only your laser saber can pierce it. Okay, so waggle, great. Force waggle, everyone loves that. That's why people say the Wii was trash when it sold a hundred million cop units. You know how it works. You have to let Odd, Ailita, or Yumi turn on the switch. You can't do it with your sword. Thank you, Captain Obvious. I greatly appreciate it. Let's try Yumi since we've already seen Ailita's. Oh, so she's got a lock-on mechanic. Kind of like a boomerang. So she locks on to multiple targets by holding the B button, and then she lets them rip. Very similar to her powers in the show. Let's go to Alita, just because. Alita's one of my favorite characters in this, honestly. Hold B and move the cursor over your enemies to lock on. Once you're locked on, press B, release B to throw your fans. Let me guess, you want Yumi. There we go. Somehow managed to avoid the lasers. Is he the guard? Let me see. No, she can dodge by moving a Z, but she can also guard and... Okay! This game has a lot more going for it than I thought. The overworld tricked me. I thought it was just gonna be, you know, not really remarkable. I am happy to be wrong. At least so far. We haven't really gotten far yet. Let's change to Alita. We hit a checkpoint. Just recovered some goodies. When you get back, I'll have them analyzed by the super calculator, and you'll be able to check the results from the schoolyard. Oh, so she can charge the beams and make a giant explosion. Great. That's the way I'm supposed to go, yeah? Probably. Oh, snap. There's a lot going on, actually. This is cool. Let's get Ulrich. Because why not? Slice these up. We need Odd. Yeah, I figured I was going the right way. I'm turning around. I don't feel like dealing with you. Why? Because there's more than one way to finish a stage. What's over here? I need more data to clear this obstacle. Well, crap. Anyway, about the whole question of the video, I usually I feel the need to answer it during the video. Not this time. 
I think I've made myself perfectly clear. You're good, Odd. You don't need to shoot anymore. It's fine. It's fine. Alright, let's switch to Aelita. Why? Because again, she's one of my favorites. Hmm, is this gonna trap me? Yeah, it is. Xana! Oh, perfect! When controlling Aelita, hold B to charge a powerful ball of energy. The longer you charge, the more powerful it'll be to throw. Shouldn't be a problem. They don't have any armor. Cool. Then I hope you don't mind if I obliterate them into non-existence. Boom. Boom. Here comes the boom. That is Aelita. Aelita is the boom. Now the thing that makes devirtualization kind of unique is that if you get devirtualized by getting beaten by enemies, it doesn't kill you. It just sends you back to the overworld pretty much. It sends you back to the real world, I should say. But on the flip side, falling into the digital sea, I guess turns you into the code that makes up Lyoko. So needless to say, that's a bad. Meaning that you're stuck in Lyoko forever, and you turn basically into digital code. But hey, we're racking up those points. We'll be able to get those upgrades quicker than I thought. I'm sorry that I keep switching characters. I just don't know who to pick. And I don't remember the directions, no matter how many times they show them to me. I'll be Yumi for right now, until they tell me otherwise. Oh, great. Oh, she can grab ledges. There was actual thought put into this game. Okay. That's important. Good, good, good. No enemies right now, so that's good. Okay, it's not on a timer, right? Good. I didn't. I figured they wouldn't do that to me in the first level. Nothing else to destroy here. Yeah, this is actually kind of sweet. I'm enjoying this. Destroy those. I need I'll... more data to clear this obstacle. Well, you know. Ooh, that's gonna be a bad, isn't it? Hmm. Should I chance it? If I lose Yumi, I mean, I'll feel bad. I'm going for it. Oh, good. They're, they're not total jerks. So you need to go really fast here, I take it. No problem. Careful to fall here. Yeah, yeah, the digital sea. We know all about it. No, this hole doesn't lead to the digital sea. It's just empty. So if you fall into it, you'll wander forever in the digital void. Wow, freaky. <laughs> Yeah, the stakes are not high at all. No way. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. They really don't want you to fall. I'll tell you what, though. You know all those times you just knocked Yoshi off just for the fun of it? This is what you... Th this is what happens to him. Cutscene. Right. With the new data, I was able to put the finishing touches on the ship. Right. Now we just have to christen it. Oh, okay. What about the USS Meatball? <laughs> Whatever. Shut up, Odd. What do you know about it anyway? When I was little, my dad told me tales about a magic drag car that sailed the seas and never lost its way. It was called... The Skid Vladimir. Yeah, that sounds good. What do you think? Skid! Yeah, sounds cool. And it's easier to say. Cool. Get ready then. I'm sending you to the He skid. said high we'll class. Be able to try Not it cool. Out. And yes, that was an actual scene from the show. 
Just like this one is. Energize. They're really terrible at these, getting these subtitles right. Cutting off the cutscenes like this is kind of weird, too. These are big budget sound effects. Careful, looks like you have company. Ailita? Release the nav skids. Release. You'll have to learn how to control your nav skids in a hurry if you uh... want to get rid of the monsters. Don't panic. It's not rocket science. You'll see. Uh, it's motion control, so I'm not exactly confident. <laughs> Point the Wii remote towards the screen to steer and move. To attack, hold B. And move the cursor over one one or many enemies. Once you are locked on to the enemies, release B to fire torpedoes. Sometimes the shots of enemies cannot be dodged. Destroy them. This is a great sign, and by a great sign I mean we're screwed. Yeah, it's a lot like a shmup. Oh great. Here we go. I take it that's supposed to heal you if you screw up. Cool and all. Yep. I was right about it healing you if you screw up. The problem is there's a lot of obstacles. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, uh, there's just gonna be a lot of this, isn't there? Is that what they meant by destroy the shots? I'm doing my best here, but it doesn't help that my controller keeps disconnecting. Okay, looks good. No monsters on the horizon. Phew. And as I know, that doesn't mean Recovery. Jack Nicholson. What is it, Jeremy? Another sector? Only one way to find out. Big budget sound effects. Okay, looks like we made it. Back to the desert, the desert sector? Like on Lyoko. Come on, get going! We have to find a tower to recover the information for this new sector. Alright, so now... At least going by how the story goes... We're introduced to a new type of area called Replicas. It's basically different... versions different versions of the same world of Lyoko that we're used to, except, this is the big thing, they're all created by Xana. Hence why there's so many enemies around here. Fortunately, I can dodge, so it's no problem, really. Actually, I want to give Yumi a go. How high do I have to go, by the way? Just curious. Oh, cool! Oh, so I needed to do this. That's cool. Can I change camera? 
That would be... It would be nice to change camera. Please. What's up top here, though? Just curious. Also, they can shoot through walls, which is scarier than anything. Really. Oh, there's a crab. Hang on. Yeah, Ulrich's the guy for the crabs, usually. At least, that's what I remember it. Alright, let's head back down. Odd, you wanna take over? Don't know why, I just feel like you're faster. Camera. Cam-er-a. Please. Okay, let's go across here. Careful not to fall. Is there something over here? I could have sworn there was. Yes, and I got it. So I'm good. We're good, Odd. Thank you. Alright, Alita. Okay, that quick camera change was not appreciated. We're getting a lot of points right now. Just hold this. Of course, cutscene causes me to not hold it anymore. Oh, great. It's a crab. Yumi! Ha! Ah, oh, crap. Got him. Good job, Yumi. You'll be back later. Good. <laughs> Annoying as all get out, actually. What's over here? Something to activate. Maybe? Not from this side, apparently. But from here. Destroy that. Go over here. There's a Xanador. A teleporter. You can use it to materialize in another zone on this level. Cool. Just like in the show with the guy with the pony ears. Okay. Oh, I remember that. That's Very fun. Nice. Your life points gauge has just shot up. Now you're even more resistant. There we go. That was easy. Honestly, they make these fights look a lot harder in the show. Not that they aren't hard, it's just the stakes feel really high. Oh boy. Here I go. About to put my foot in my mouth. Ulrich! Come on. Okay, good. I lead it. You want to come on. I'll tell you what, Ilita used to be super useless. This game doesn't show it, but Ilita was probably the most useless character in Code Lyoko until this season. Doesn't mean that she's necessarily a bad character. Like, she was actually a super awesome character. She was just, well, useless. <laughs> no other way to say it, except she was just useless. Okay, everyone can climb up ledges, which is a good. Except that one. Which, okay. Uh, no waggle. Please and thank you. Okay, odd. Or do I have to... Oh, I have to walk on it. Makes sense. That's fine. I'm picking up a rapidly moving object coming towards you. What is it? Uh -oh. It's William. Be careful. William? That ain't good. Up there. It's him. 
Hey Cloud. Or Zack, I guess. I know my Final Fantasy. Yeah, Ulrich. You do it. Sword fighter versus sword fighter. Whoa! Never mind. Never mind. I made a horrible mistake. Okay. So this is where the challenge was. And de-virtualize. Well, at least it just starts you right back at the checkpoint, huh? Let's try this again. And it doesn't play cutscenes again. Again, this game is showing good points. Oh, these are annoying. All right, good. Now, Ulrich. You're probably wondering why Ulrich. Well, there's personal reasons why these two don't get along. Another one of the characters. You'll see. Hey. Calm down, Zack. There we Temporarily devirtualize. Alright, I leave again in the tower. Ailita, it's your turn. Yeah, Ailita is the only one that's capable of deactivating towers when they're possessed by Xana. Or in this case, the only one capable of retrieving information from it. <laughs> that's the name of the game! Calculator. Fancy. Alright. Well, that was fun. So, were you able to analyze the coordinates that we sent you? I've just launched the search on the super calcul- No need to thank us. Piece of cake. Sorry. Got carried away. Thanks, guys. You made it work. Xana has pulled out all the stops to defend this new territory. Yeah, I know. I hope that with the information you got, we'll find out why. Alright, so we're back at Caddick. So that was that mission, and it went well. Wait, Jeremy's here. What? Or not Jeremy, William's here. What's he doing here? Hi, everybody. Nice day. I'm getting hot under these clothes. Yeah, clever conversation, William. Now I can see what Mr. Delmas was talking about. Seems like this William is a bit... Stupid? Jeremy's going to have to rework his code. Ah, oh, Mr. Dunbar. How's it going? Catching up on old friends? I'm delighted to have you back with us. Come on. My friends aren't that old. Yes, of course. <laughs> I forgot. They made the clone of William so stupid. Funny thing is they tried to make him smart, and it did not end well. At all. But that's a story for another time. And we'll stop it right here. So, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. It helps out. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. And don't forget to answer the question for this video. Have you ever seen Code Lyoko? And if so, what's your opinion on it? I'd love to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section below. So next time, we'll probably get back in the skid and explore some more replicas. Yes, that's what they're called, or replicas. I'm sure we'll learn about it later. Sorry for the spoilers. Anywho, thanks so much. I'll catch you in the next one. See you later.